All right, so last time Shane from the Storytime Distilleries was here, he dropped off this bottle and was like, here, drink this. I don't drink a lot of Jim Beam. I don't think I've ever had a single barrel from Jim Beam. I drink a lot of Jim Beam product like Knob Creek and whatnot, but I think I should try this. I don't know. We're going to crack it open and uh, we'll see if let's see if I like it. I think you've had it. I've not had this specific not this barrel. No, I haven't had this barrel. I've had this single barrel before. Yeah, but a different um, barrel. And it's been a long time ago. I think that's been that's been way well over a year ago since I've had that. Hey, by the way, if you like what we're doing, hit the uh, like button and the notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content each week. It's a screw cap. Well, of course it's Jim Beam. What it's else cheap. would you expect? But, you know, hey, the story time picks are screw caps too. They are screw caps. And this is and 108 proof. This is not like a 90. Yes, yeah, so this 80. is not this is not your normal Jim Beam white label. This is a Jim Beam single barrel coming in at 108 proof, which the normal white label is coming in at 80, right? I believe so. I believe yeah. that's like the base. The base coming in at 80. Jim Beam is, I mean, I think it's the um, second best selling label in the world behind Jack Daniels. Behind Jack Daniels. Yep. And for a reason. It's a solid pour. I'm not saying it's our favorite, but the Jim Beam White Label is a solid pour. It's a good mixer. It's a well whiskey for, you know, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of bars across the world. I don't care what it is. If it comes in a single barrel that's got a little bit of proof on it, I'm going to drink it. That looks pretty nice in the glass. A little it's bit. It's oily. Yeah. It's oily. It's not the It's not super not, dark. Yeah, I was going to say the color's not like really dark. No, it's more like a honey versus that dark amber. All right. I'm ready to I'm, I'm expecting... Peanuts. <laughs> Jim Beam. That is dusty, heavy. dusty peanut. Peanut? Yes, I have one right here. It's bulky, but I consider it carry on. Peanuts. Oh, I see. That is the most heavy peanut yeah. smell. Classic Jim Beam notes. It's hard to get through those nuts, dude. Like <laughs> All right, watch yourself. I it's, haven't had that hard. experience, AJ. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> A, uh, we always compare it to Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse floor. Yeah, Texas <laughs> If you ever know Texas Roadhouse, when you walk in, they have peanuts all over the floor. Because yeah. when you sit down at the table, they give you a bucket and you just eat peanuts. So you can throw the shells on the ground. That whole place smells yeah. like peanuts. A little bit of brown sugar, a yeah. little bit of that corn sweetness. I never can pick up the cherry note on. There's a cherry note in here? What? I don't think so. Is that what people say? Eagle Rare is like all cherry. Yeah, I can't get past the nuts, man. Yeah, I'm no, serious. The, this that is, nut smell is so heavy. It, it's very heavy. You know what? This reminds me of Old Tub on the nose. It does, absolutely. Well, Old Tub, Tub is, is Jim like Beam. Jim Beam, yeah. but that was Jim Beam's label before Jim Beam was actually a label. It was originally, that was the original brand that Jim Beam Corporation sold. Now it's one of 11 um, brands that they sell. Which I love. I do love Old Tub. I think it's a great bottle. It is a good bottle. I wonder what this is going to But we're about to find like. out. That was, that, that, was that was pretty. That was pretty. Hmm. Not terrible. It's good. It's good. It's super nutty, though. It's very nutty. That is Jim Beam all the way. Jim Beam nuttiness, sweetness hits me right up front on the palate. A little bit of the ethanol, and then it completely falls flat for me. This falls absolutely flat past the initial palate. It, it lasts about 15 seconds. That's what she said. Yeah, like that That initial palate, I, I like. The initial palate's great. I get a bit of a little bit of a hug. Look, I don't want to be hard. This is a, this is this it's is good. really good. It is good. Yeah, I just wish it. I wish it lasted. Like many bourbons and my ex girlfriends, I wish they lasted longer. <laughs> okay, why can't they last longer? I like it. I mean, it's if you like peanuts and you like Jim Beam and you like Knob Creek and stuff. It, okay, if you're a Jim Beam fan, if you want to get kicked in the teeth and you're used to ninety proofs. I 80 just, proofs, 90 proofs, you want to get kicked in the teeth? I was about to say, this doesn't kick in the teeth, though. Not to us. Well, yeah, this is 180 proof, but it literally drinks like an 80 for me. For the average whiskey drinker out there, if you're used to 80s and 90s, you like Jim Beam, but you want to knock up your your cocktails. You want to taste it. This would be a great one to push put into cocktails so you can really taste it coming through. You know what? I'm not knocking it. It's pretty dick. I'm good. That's pretty good. I'm surprised to hear you say that because you usually shit on regular Jim Beam stuff. This isn't regular Jim Beam, though. I, I will shit on White Label all day. Yeah. Because that's water. Yeah. That's best bourbon-flavored water. But I still, see, I, I am a fan of the White If I'm going for just a cheap well pour, okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with the Jim Beam. Okay. It's, I like it better than Jack, obviously. I like the Jim Beam flavor profile. I am, I've always been a fan of the Jim Beam flavor profile. I like it. Ryan thinks it sucks ass. I didn't say that. Your, your facial expressions and your... Your body language said, this shit sucks. 
and I want AJ to go ahead and take it home with him. Okay, y'all do that. I didn't. <laughs> hey, there's two videos right there. Sure. A lot of channels just give you one. We're giving you two. Don't hold it against those other channels. They're just lazy. <laughs> They're just lazy. Don't worry about it. But we're giving you two. You really just clicked a button. All right, Jim Beam is good. This is pretty good. Let's, let's close.